and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing a doodle crate and I'm excited to open this up and just see what this month has in store for us. So if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you unboxings like we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this crate. Okay, so this month's crate is decorate animal masks. Ooh. So it says design and paint paper mache masks to create cool wall art. So that sounds like a lot of fun and something my daughter's gonna love. So when we open it up, it looks like this. It's scary. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna be goofy today. That's, it's already decided I'm just gonna be a goofball. Anyways, so these are our instructions right here. So that looks pretty cool right there. And then I'm sure there's different options. I don't really know. And so they'll give a little bit of background here and then our instructions of what to do. And then we have a bunch of, it looks like forms kind of thing. There's like round ears, pointy ears, there's feathers maybe, I don't know. A whole bunch of different pieces that you could put together to make your different kind of mask. And then we have a, a few different paint brushes. This one's a little bit bigger right here. And then this one's a little bit smaller. So maybe some for painting and some for doing the paper mache. I'm not really sure. And then these look like clear stickers back here. And then some ribbon probably to tie it up right here. Yeah, there's some ribbon on the top of it. And then we have, whoa, <laughs> I don't know what this is. This, this is the pa paper mache part. I don't know, I've never seen paper mache in this way before. So this, this is gonna be interesting to figure that out. And then we have a little paint tray right here and a little maybe water tray. I feel like usually that's what they use these for. Or yeah, probably if this is the paper mache, maybe to like dip it in here. And then there's some white paint in this container, but then we have a whole bunch of different colors in here, more like animal, like realistic animal colors, not, not crazy animal colors. So we have some different shades of orange and brown and black. And then I think the last thing is just the mess mat. So this is gonna be a lot of fun, I think. Maybe a little bit messier than, have we had messy projects recently? I don't feel like super messy. So this'll, this'll be fun and something different that we haven't had in a while. <laughs> Obviously we haven't had this one before at all, but we haven't had a messy project in a while. So it'll be a fun, experiment to try it out. So I'm excited to let my daughter get at it and we will let you know how it goes. her doodle crate <laughs> if you didn't know where she was she's right here ta-da it's like magic so <laughs> she made some masks masks and it was a lot of fun did you have fun yes <laughs> we'll see if she's gonna she, there you go <laughs> so you're gonna tell us what they are and then we'll talk a little bit about the process of it what's this so one this one's gonna be is a fox a fox and what's this one? An owl. An owl. So that one's an owl, and this one is a fox. And so I thought this was a really fun craft. <laughs> you can take it off unless you want to sit there the whole time with it on. So it starts out by having you do the mold, and they give you tons of different options. Sorry, the sun is going to come blazing at us the, <laughs> from behind the clouds. And so they give you all these different options and it has some pictures here of some of the different options. They give you different types of ears, different like noses and all that kind of stuff. And so you can put them together. See like this one has a little feather thing at the top <laughs> and it has a beak. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is like having problems today. <laughs> I've been like coughing. 
And then we have this one that has a little like muzzle on it. I think they have one for a shorter like snout as well. And they have pointy ears, which I think is what these are, or rounded ears, like if you wanted to do a bear. So there's a lot of different options. So then you make the mold and that was pretty easy, huh? Did you think making the mold was pretty easy? <laughs> She's just gonna play with the mess. Okay, can you put it down and ask an answer? Did you think making the mold was pretty easy for it all? <laughs> so some of it did require two hands. I feel like if you're, the kids aren't great with their fine motor skills yet, or I don't know. I feel like even for an adult, it, some of the things would have been slightly hard to do without another set of hands. And so you have to tape some of the pieces down and it was easy just to have her hold the pieces through the holes and then me tape one side. So I helped her with that a little bit. And then I feel like the longest part of this whole project is having to cut this spool of whatever, paper mache, I guess is what it is. And so you cut it in one inch strips and you cut a lot of them. <laughs> Cause I think each of these, you kind of divide it into 70 pieces for each of them, which I think we just had just under cause we might've cut some a little bit bigger than an inch and stuff but it gives you some different tips here of how to do that and how you could sort them out. And it even has a line right here for how big an inch is so that your kids can line it up and cut it that way. She cut some of them and then I cut the rest just because it was a little easier for me just to eyeball it and cut an inch. But that was probably the part that took the longest. Do you think that was the hardest part? <laughs> just because it was kind of tedious, I guess. But then after that, she just dipped them in water and then you cover your mold that you've made. And you put little straws in the holes so that you don't cover them up. So you can do them on the sides if you wanna make it more of a mask to wear this way, or you can put it where? On the top. On the top, if you want it to be really easy just to hang up like on the wall or something. So you could do that. Or you could do this. Or you could do that. <laughs> you could hang it on the wall and then put your face under it. <laughs> and so those are a few different options. And then she covered it and she just made one mask each day that we did this project because it was like lunchtime and all that stuff. And it takes a little bit to make one in the first place. And then she was a little bit tired and wanted to do something else. And then you let it dry overnight. So it took a few days for us to make the masks and then we let them dry. But then the paint actually was really quick and it dried really fast, I think, cause it just gets soaked up in here. So the paint wasn't too bad. It just gives you two colors of brown, orange, and black. And then a big thing of white so you can mix more like animal type colors if you want. What's she gonna show us? <laughs> so it does have a little thing back here that shows you it for the different colors, what you need to mix and stuff like that. So I liked that and it says to paint it all one color and then go back and do all your designs. And then you could even embellish them more right here. It gives you some different ideas for embellishing them more and adding some stuff you have from home. So I thought this was a really fun craft. Did you think it was fun? Yes. What was your favorite part? Uh, getting to paint them. Getting to paint them. I really like these two designs. Like yeah, you like the designs. <laughs> you did a good job, huh? Oh, really has cool stripes. Oh yeah, she really liked the stripes when she put them on. That was her favorite part. What do you think was the hardest part? Uh, cutting the strips. Cutting the strips again, <laughs> just cause it was long and tedious. And it says to cover the back as well. So we covered the back. She didn't paint the back, but you could, or you don't have to, I guess it's up to you. But I'm excited to see what next month brings because we had a lot of fun doing this. I keep saying we, she mostly did the work. I just kind of made sure everything was good, but we had a lot of fun still. And if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and give the fox, is it a fox, a fox a thumbs up? <laughs> and we will see you next time.